the line between real achievements in defense technology and mere propaganda is sometimes not so clear. Recently, as reported, Iran has conducted a test flight of a prototype drone. However, this is not just any drone, but the so-called Kahur 313, a jet-powered drone with a stealth design. As quoted by Tehran News, the Director General of Iran's Aerospace Industries at the Ministry of Defense has announced that the Kahur 313 aircraft, which is claimed to be a manned stealth fighter, has now entered the flight test phase in its unmanned version. The announcement was made at the Kish International Air Show, reviving interest and serious discussions about the future of the futuristic project that was first presented in 2013. Since then, the Kahur 313 has been repeatedly scrutinized and analyzed, raising doubts about what this Iranian aircraft really represents and whether it will exceed the theoretical ambitions of its development program. Gron has presented the Kahur 313 as a stealth fighter with unique capabilities, including the ability to evade radar, fly at low altitudes, and conduct tactical operations. The aircraft has also been presented as a symbol of technological self-sufficiency, part of Iran's strategy to establish itself as a regional power capable of relying on its own military innovation. The Kahur 313's design resembles modern stealth fighters such as the American F-22 and F-35, with distinctive sharp angles and a fuselage that, according to Iranian officials, minimizes its radar signature. However, these claims have been questioned by aviation experts and military analysts, who argue that despite Iran's defense industry ambitions, the aircraft exhibits serious structural limitations that are likely to limit its operational effectiveness in real combat conditions. A significant design problem with the Kahur 313 is its lack of traditional vertical stabilizers or tailplanes, which are standard on many modern fighter aircraft. These components play a critical role in ensuring stability during high-speed maneuvers and under heavy load conditions. The aircraft's overall aerodynamic shape can cause instability, reducing its ability to perform complex aerial maneuvers, which are critical in modern air combat. Over time, in February 2023, the Iranian Ministry of Defense announced that the Kahur 313 would be converted into a UCAV, or Unmanned Armed Aerial Combat Vehicle. This aircraft has a length of about 14 meters and a wingspan of 8 meters, designed with low RCS and made of materials that minimize the possibility of being detected by radar. The Kahur 313 UCAV prototype is likely equipped with a pair of reverse-engineered engines from the General Electric J85 used by the F-5 Tiger, one of the fighter jets that is still the mainstay of the Iranian Air Force today. For its weapons, the Kahur 313 can carry two 910kg bombs, several small smart missiles, or at least six PL-12-class air-to-air missiles. The first delivery of the Kahur 313 UCAV version to the Iranian Air Force was originally planned for mid-2024, but it seems to be behind schedule. 